This isn't something I do all the time, if I'm gonna be completely honest. It's more so something I do once in a while. So don't be fooled, this isn't something I do all the time. Um, so I'm gonna start with clipping back these little, my little bangs because they're gonna get in the way. Oh, I have them in the middle of my forehead. Um, anyways, so I start with clipping back my bangs. Like I said, this isn't something I do all the time. Normally I just like give my face like a quick wash with water, like warm water and then cold water. And that's pretty much it. Um, don't be fooled. Um, so I use a cotton pad. I would like to start using reusable cotton pads. I thought about crocheting some, but I think it'd be too rough on my skin to be honest. So I have to invest in like reusable ones because I would much rather that. Oh, I also, um, I should tell you what I'm using. I use Same Wa uh, Gentle Cleansing Water to kind of just like wipe down my face after it's been washed. Get rid of any excess makeup, dirt, whatever I might've missed. So I just put a little bit of that on my cotton pad and give my face a quick scrub down. <laughs> I got that in. <laughs> I've been doing that all week. Super happy with it. Anyway, so then I let it kind of like dry off because she's a little moist um <laughs> I just love to dry off um yeah the only reason I'm doing this tonight to be completely honest is because I actually have the energy to so now that this is dry I don't feel it anymore um little side note I am not bougie at least not yet and I've never really cared for facial products I feel like I should now that I've gotten older I feel like I, I definitely should but I never used to so my mom has gotten into this whole kick of like, you know, making cleaning products and skincare products and whatever. So we found this one and I've been trying it, um, not consistently for the past year, but I have been trying it this past year. So ignore the fact that the label looks really crappy. I just grabbed tape, threw it on and labeled it. So I knew what it was when it was sitting on my vanity. So then I go in with our <laughs> homemade anti-aging acne face serum i really don't think it helps with acne honestly um i don't get a lot of acne so i can't like attest to that i mean i have like a couple spots right now but i'm stressed so that's we're gonna ignore that so i'm not saying that, like this stuff is gonna like cure all your problems whatever i'm not selling it to nobody it was just i'm not bougie and i needed a face serum so my mom made me one this is what we called it okay so i put a couple drops in my hands just gonna go like this and just kind of rub it on my face. I did this last week. I actually have recorded this video. This is my second time recording it. So last time when I did this, I went on like a whole tangent, like a story time. And in the middle of editing the next day, I was like, man, this sucks. And like my logic when it comes to creating content for YouTube or just content for anything, like if I'm editing or I'm watching it over afterwards and I can't even sit through it, there's no way someone else on the internet is gonna sit through it. Like there's no way, horrible. So I will not put out content, content. <laughs> I will not put out content that I genuinely don't think is good content. Um, obviously what people consider good content is different from what I consider good content. But my rule of thumb is if I cannot even get through my own video, like start to finish without being bored out of my freaking mind, then it's probably a waste of my time and the viewer's time and whatever. It's just, it's not going to benefit anybody. So this is my second time making this video and I decided not to, I mean, I'm kind of doing a story time, but like, I don't know, whatever. It's going a lot faster. I'll tell you that last video took a lot more time. So anyways, once I'm done, done that, I use my little gua sha and just do that. Now when I'm done with that, I normally like to take like this curved, this curved piece and 
just kind of like run down my neck. I don't know, it's very soothing. I mean, it helps drain the lymph nodes, so it's not like horrible for you or anything. At least in my opinion, I'm not a professional, so don't quote me on that. But I basically just go like five to 10 times, basically whatever I feel like I need. If I'm really tense, I'll normally go more, but I think five to 10 times is enough. Um, I start from like under, you can see the skin moving back here. <laughs> I start from like under where my jawline is and just kind of work my way down. Here's kind of sensitive, so I normally don't go all the way down like that. So, I don't know how to look like an idiot right now. Worth it. This is very relaxing. Um, I know this isn't some like fancy skincare routine whatever that you probably see most people do especially youtubers or influencers or whatever but like i said like i've never really cared for skincare it's been within the last year that i'm like hmm, maybe i should take it seriously once that's done i just throw on um i use this every day like every morning every night unless i forget or unless i'm sleeping somewhere else and i forget to bring it with me um cetaphil daily facial moisturizer it has spf 15 in it it's for sensitive skin um, oil free and lightweight and dermatologist recommended. So I like the Cetaphil. I can't really say that I've noticed like much of a difference except for the fact I have like eczema. I've had it my whole life. Um, and every now and then I get flare ups and actually like a couple months ago, I got like super, super stressed. A lot of bad stuff was happening in our lives at that time. And, um, Let me just focus here. Anyways, once I kind of doubt it all over the place, I just rub it in. But yeah, anyways, so I had some I had a really bad eczema flare up a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, something like that. Cause I was super stressed and it was all over my face. Like it was horrible. It was itchy, it was red, it was inflamed, I had patches everywhere, it was horrible. I did not want to go outside. I was super like I've come to terms with my eczema compared to when I was like a little girl. I had a really time hard, or a really hard time dealing with it. Um, but as I've gotten older, like I realize it's nothing to be ashamed about. Um, all the people that used to bully me obviously didn't understand anything about eczema. It's not contagious. It's not necessarily a, like it's a disease, but it's not a disease. You know what I mean? It's not life threatening. It's it's just it just sucks. So my skin's sensitive right now. It kind of it's a little tingly. Um, but anyways. So when I had my eczema breakout, I was using Cetaphil like a lot. Every time I, my face started to get itchy, I put Cetaphil on. I'm like, okay. It was like the one thing that worked that actually like soothes my skin and it wasn't itchy anymore. It wasn't hurting. And after a couple of days of using it like consistently morning, night, anytime throughout the day, it got itchy because it does stay on the bottle to like reapply frequently. Anyways, I normally don't. I normally only put it on morning and night, but that week in particular, like I put it on like six times a day. And within a couple days, like my flare ups were completely gone. So anyways, once that's all moisturized in, um, that's it. That is my nighttime skincare routine. Um, when I decide to do some self care, cause this is not something I honestly have the energy for every day or all the time or any of that. So I'm just gonna fluff my hair because I don't like the way it looks. Anyways. So yeah, that's it. This video was a lot easier to film this time compared to last time. Um, so if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching. And there, I know there were like little story times tossed in there, but we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Unless you enjoyed it, then let's pretend it happened. Or it did, you know, let's acknowledge that it happened. You know what? I make no apologies for <laughs> my stuff. I ramble all the time. Y'all are gonna realize that real soon. Um, Anyways, so if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified every time that we post. And I will see you next Wednesday. Like